We installed the pneumatic tube system back in 91. There's about four miles of pneumatic tubing in the system. And if you calculate how many people it would take to hand carry those products, it would be a lot more than the few people I have to manage the system. We do approximately 7,000 transactions a day. There's approximately 123 to 129 stations, which covers Lake Wilbur, Cancer Center, Lucille Packer Children's Hospital, and Stanford Hospital and Clinics. The longest trip would be from Boswell, blood draw in A101, over to Blake Wilbur. We send things from blood to medicine, specimens. Um, a lot of testing is really dependent upon the tube system. If you go in with an ailment, they have to draw blood they do all their testing, but that blood takes off in the tube, gets to a place where they have to do uh, some testing of the blood, and then the results sent back to the doctor. So when they see this tube come in with a special number and a buzzer, oh, that's ED. They run, get the carrier, they get it in the system, and then therefore the results can get over to the clinician faster. We're in the process of trying to visualize what happens when the pneumatic uh, tube takes off in the system. We're going to be putting a light and a camera inside this carrier and we're going to send it off and uh, see what type of video we get out of this. Okay, here we go. What we're doing is sending it back to ourselves. watching the travel of the carrier. It's going up, it's going to the penthouse right now through this path here. When it passes this transfer unit, now it's at the top level. Now here it comes, coming back. Taking this path back to this station, which is 555. Baby. <laughs> um, am I holding it incorrectly? <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, it's pretty clear. The way it sits now, it's like perfect. 